Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hey everyone, Joshua Hanlon here, and today I'm with Doug in the St. Louis area. We are checking out his massive LEGO Disney World layout here. This thing is absolutely huge. Before we launch on into this, what is the size of this whole thing? Do you know, like in feet, how big this is? Uh, it's about 26 foot long, and about um, at its widest, it's about um, 15, 16 foot wide. Yeah, and you've captured so many incredible details here, so we're going to be going through all of that. We'll start kind of towards the back of the park here, though. So as we make our way over here, you can start kind of behind the castle in this back corner section of the park and take us through kind of what you have back there. All right, well, we see the, the Haunted Mansion back all the way in the back there. That's part of uh, the Liberty Tree area of the Magic Kingdom. And then um, as we come around, we see, um, and you also can see in the uh, Haunted Mansion, we have the queue area, um, the famous uh, green topped queue area with the, um, uh, the carriage ride, the, the, the black carriage uh, uh, figures inside there. The, uh, the, we have uh, the uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, um, which is the roller coaster, the Lego roller coaster with a facade around it uh, that we created into the uh, Big Thunder Mountain. That's really uh, cool. So you've been able to kind of take uh, some of existing sets throughout this and modify them into kind of the Disney looking versions of themselves. Right. I use sets and then I also, I modify sets. So if I see something that is, that, that looks like another or a, a part of the park, I will, and then I can convert it easily. I will purchase that or I will just uh, make custom builds. And a lot of these things are custom builds too. As we go through, you'll see, um, as we come down from Big Thunder Mountain, then we have, um, uh, Tom Sawyer's Island, and that's the, the green topped building there. I did put uh, uh, the pirate ship there. That is a Lego uh, a set, and we got that set, so I used that as, and there's, there's really a steamboat there, but we wanted to use that set, so we have Peter Pan and Captain Hook there uh, fighting it out in that, uh, in that lagoon there. And then in front of that, we have um, a parade, and the parade route uh, we have in the front there, we have, and maybe we can show these as we go a little bit later too, but we have the Haunted Mansion from Disneyland as a float, uh, Encanto, and then we have um, Toy Story. We've got two sides of that. We I have, love the way the Toy Story float there has the, both sides back to back. Right, one's Andy's room, and then one is just uh, Woody there. Then we have uh, the Frozen, and then we have Star Wars. Uh, there is One side is Tatooine, and the other side is Mustafar, where Luke and and An or Anakin and uh, Obi-Wan fight. And then uh, behind that we have Avatar and then there's a, a Doctor Strange actually behind that as well. Um, so I use those, I bring those out sometimes and put uh, the parade route down the middle Main Street. I'm constantly moving things around. If people want pictures in that with those, ri with those uh, floats, I will assemble that as well. And then as we come around from there, we have formerly Splash Mountain and um, I, I get a lot of questions about Splash Mountain because they're changing it to uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And uh, it is one of the iconic rides of the park. So what I have done, they just got the water tower up. So I've got that uh, assembled there. And I still have the top to Splash Mountain and I still have the ride vehicles. I am gonna make it, I'm still in construction, I'm making it. Um, I'm gonna make it so I can transfer back and forth. I can convert back and forth for their uh, retro look. And uh, I think that'll, some people that like that, I think they'll, they'll, they'll get a kick out of that. Cause I think the new ride's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I think uh, they'll do a really good job uh, like they did with Frozen in um, Epcot. Nice. So as we come around from Frontierland there that we get into Adventureland. Well, and we're right here at the Pirates of the Caribbean. Now this is generally down at the Magic Kingdom. It is an enclosed ride, but obviously I couldn't enclose it and so, I did put a wall on the right there, separating it from the Jungle Cruise, but that is a, a tracked ride, which I can move that. Right now it's just um, hand moved, um, but we'd like to motorize it at some point. And then we also have uh, lighting that we'll show you guys in a little bit. We've got all the Easter eggs of like Jack Sparrow in the barrel there. We've got the guy in the, um, the well. <laughs> um, uh, we've got the guy with the pigs there, but it seems like uh, that was a Halloween situation where we didn't take that out from Halloween, and he's a skeleton. And then we've got the guy up on the, the bridge, 
And then we've got, uh, we also have, we've got Red. She is a, um, that's the auctioneer now that they have. And we've got some products from, we've got the Mandalorians there bringing Han Solo and Carbonite. And um, we also have um, some Harry Potter paraphernalia in there as well. We've got the, the broom right there. And then we've got Jack also working on his lightsaber skills there with R2. I like and, this little crossover in this section Right, here. <laughs> and then he's also, he's here and he's up there. He's kind of all over the place. He's kind of a where's Waldo. And then he's actually, with that scooter and he's got a Grogu in, in the back there. And then the iconic scene at the end, this one's going to be hard to get, but that's the last scene of the ride where he's sitting with all the gold and you go by and see him before oh, yeah. you get off the ride there. <laughs> and again, Disney, Disney World's is a little different than Disneyland's. But um, these are kind of the mainstays at, at Disney World there. Now, you've, you've captured so many different details of the park here. You're obviously very familiar with it. How many times have you been to Disney, would you say, over the years? Well, we, I, when I was younger, my parents took me uh, one or two times. But then when my kids were little, me and my wife decided to go on a trip every year. And we went, we've gone, uh, my my kids went 16 years in a row. Wow. We went from when my daughter was one until she was 16. Uh, and then we had some other commitments that we went and we, we actually went out to Disneyland one year as well. But we also, we are DVC members in that and we kind of used uh, those systems to stay in some different hotels and that. And we've since gotten rid of that, but it was a great time. And it was really a family, it's our family mainstay is to go down to Disney World. And then as uh, you're viewing there, that is the Jungle Cruise. And you can see the ride vehicle there. And then we've got some Easter eggs of the Lion King in there. We have the famous view of uh, the scientist up the pole from the, the rhinoceros. Or the rhino is underneath the scientist. And, <laughs> and then so good. the monkeys that turned over the Jeep, they got it turned over. And then a little different here, I use the Avatar set um, the tree because it looked like the tree of life from the live action Jungle Cruise. And so it kind of made it, I was able to mix the IPs a little bit. I know Avatar is not at Magic Kingdom, but I was able to incorporate that in there. And then everybody wants to see the backside of water. There's a waterfall right there. If you could turn around a little bit and then you can see the backside of water just a little bit. And that's that'll be lit up when we when we light it up. Very uh, important element well. there. Oh, but the lights, yes. We, we, at the end here, we'll, we'll turn off the lights and we'll be able to see uh, all of the lighting right, effects as right. well that you have on here as well. So, and as we get to the other side, when you'll be able to get a better view of the entrance to Adventureland as well. It's uh, what the iconic sign. And that's the back of it there, but you'll be able to see it when we get around the other side there. What were, what were those buildings? Oh, I'm there? sorry. We also have, um, uh, that is the tiki room is with the yellow top building there and there's not a lot with that just because of room and that but then there's a little homage to that right next to it which we'll be able to get from the other side a little better and that is uh, aladdin's uh, magic carpet ride and that that does spin and there's the, the water lights up in there as well i use the little the little um single round pieces the translucent blue for water and we put hide the lights underneath it and it comes out pretty well now, you're talking about different modifications you've done here and kind of updating these builds, but I think one obvious question when you look at this, there's so much here, and obviously accessing it doesn't look very easy. So how do you get in and right. update these builds, like you were talking about with Splash Mountain and some of these things? Right. Well, I do have some pathways that I have to crawl <laughs> and get right in that porthole right there. And then there's also a porthole behind uh, Big Thunder Mountain back there as well. So, and this porthole right here, right next to Liberty Tree, that is the, um, the Christmas area. That's why they got Christmas hats on there because there's a Christmas village, not village, but there's um, shops in there in um, Liberty Tree, uh, the Liberty uh, Square area. Now I don't have the Hall of Presidents uh, because of space. I'm kind of, we're thinking about some different things that I can do to rearrange that because I'd like to get the Hall of Presidents. Uh, but it, it was just a room thing. And then this is the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse as well. And that is a, a Lego set as well. Um, didn't have to do much with that because I think it was kind of geared after that, uh, believe it or not. 
I think this. I think the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse had the shortest line of anything that I saw. When right, I was right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's you're... a pretty quick experience. Yeah. If you want to walk around. <laughs> right. Um, so and um, and so the Avatar stuff, like I said, I like to, and I kind of separated it there from um, the Pirates of the Caribbean because it is separate. Uh, when the lights go on, though, you'll be able to see the um, where the cannons uh, shoot into the uh, the water there as the passengers go by. And this, again, this is a custom build. This is the um, the ride vehicle for the Pirates of the Caribbean because um, some things are just not out there. So I have to be as creative as I can with the pieces. And um, a lot of times I'm thinking, and generally when something's coming out or there's a new set that comes out, I look and see if there's, you know, does that kind of, could that be this? Could it be that? And um, if not, I generally don't uh, go for it too much. But <laughs> <laughs> no, you try your best and see, see how you can turn things, you know, Disneyfy them as much right, as possible. Exactly. <laughs> so that brings us, we can talk about this uh, section right here. Okay. Now we'll get different perspectives on it later All as right. well. So on, we'll go on this side of Main Street then. Uh, this is Old Kodak uh, Theater. Uh, and uh, there's some restaurants in there. Um, that is a custom build um, because, and you can see in the back there, you can see all the different colors in the back here. Uh, so uh, that's a custom build because they didn't make anything that looked like that building. So uh, that was a custom build. This is also uh, the trolley. That is actually the trolley from uh, Christmas time at the base of it. And then I kind of tore it apart down those bare bones and kind of built it up into the uh, trolley that goes down Main Street. We have the omnibus there. Uh, it runs down Main Street, and then as we come up around here, we got the old hat shop here. The confectionery goes around here, and this is actually, if you can recognize that, that's the um, City Square building. And then when you come over here, you'll see that we have the Cape Crusader uh, some nice in Easter there as well. So side. we'll throw some <laughs> Easter eggs at you a little bit, and we try to make little scenes down of what you know what the uh, visitors are doing. I, the biggest thing I get, we've got the magic store there and he's doing a little trick out there, is that there's not enough people. That's usually what I get that it needs about 2,000 more minifigures. <laughs> it looks pretty packed to me. It's but... pretty packed, but you know how when you're down right, there, right. Uh, we've been there many a time and it, yeah, it, it could use a, a few more. And then this building here, that is the Emporium and that is a custom build. I, if you look at some of my videos from when we started, it was a totally different building. And I wasn't happy with it. And so I, I was able to sit down and that's what I really like doing is just taking stuff and trial and error uh, building. And um, I think it turned out really good. Still have to get a few of the st stickers on there. I make my own stickers um, for the Emporium signs and that, but um, I think that turned out real well. And then next to it is the, uh, the hair, oh, the, the barber shop. And then if we come around over here again, we have the cinema, oh, fine. the cinema there, and then um, inside the movie, um, um, uh, Steamboat Willie's plan. So when you, when you do come around over here, you can see that it, the theater's full, and they're watching Steamboat uh, Willie in there as well. And then uh, the end is the ice cream shop on the end, and uh, that was a custom build too. That is, you can recognize that's a Harry Potter Rooftop there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we use some other uh, builds uh, to help us out with the uh, different uh, different buildings that um, they have down there that I just you don't find on the market. So is this a Jack Stone figure representing that the is statue Jack there? Stone. That is, <laughs> I love yes, that. That is Roy. Uh, that is Roy and Minnie have a statue there because Walt was obviously passed away before they finished this park. So Roy is the one that finished. Uh, Disney World uh, when, when uh, Walt had passed away. So at the front of the park there, they have, or front of Main Street, that, that's, that's um, Roy and Minnie statue. And there actually is another statue over here that's Goofy. So on that chair in front of, I think that's um, uh, the restaurant from uh, Lady and the Tramp, Tony's, Tony's. Right in front of that, there is a bronze statue of Goofy on the chair where you can go to get your picture taken with. So are those painted then? Or yes, you... they're okay. painted at uh, some um, gold uh, plastic paint that I use. And uh, so, yeah, everybody's kind of struck by that when they think it's, they don't know what it is. And I'm like, yeah, it's an old, I date myself there a little bit. 
Um, and then we have the, the fire truck here that comes around in the fire station, which we'll get from the other side here as well. And then as we lead down to actually to the main statue of Walt and Mickey, that is also uh, a painted piece, but that is, and how I got that minifig so big, it's a keychain. It's like one it, of those flashlights, it's, isn't it's it? It's a flashlight yeah, keychain, yeah. yeah. So I was <laughs> like, I gotta use Lego, you know, I gotta use a Lego figure, because I see them made of, of blocks, which is fine, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to be a figure, but it had to be bigger. So we got one of those and that turned out really well, I think, it's kind of the hallmark of that area there. That really got us going when we got that, that area and then we started coming down this way as we build. Because we started with the castle and then built from there. Kind of, we just wanted to do Main Street and then it just started ballooning. That's amazing. Now, was this with your kids or pretty much all you? What is that pro well, collaboration it like? it was my kids' Legos. <laughs> and um, they were sitting down here, and my kids are older now. And my son, uh, we, we'd always talked about doing it when they were younger. And I was like, yeah, we got a lot of them. But we just got we to get the castle. So we got the castle, and we got that. And then it just kind of steamrolled. And then I kind of, it became my hobby at nighttime. You know, I teach, and during the day, you know, stress reliever and that. I come home, and I just work on different things. And we kind of, it just... It's like it came and then just built from there. I didn't build anything like astronomically going off to a side. It just kind of grew into its, you know, grew from the center out. Because people ask me how you get started. I'm like, I really don't know. I mean, I just, I just, I started and it kind of just exploded. This you know is a I mean? lot of stress relieving here. That's what yes, school exactly. does. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what it does. <laughs> so, um, and then. Over uh, through this region here, then I guess you can get from there. There's Tomorrowland, and that's the new. They had a diff. They just changed that um, <clears throat> about five or six years ago, though. But they changed the entrance to Tomorrowland. So that's the entrance to Tomorrowland, and then this is the People Mover. And we got a couple inside there, a couple different ones inside. It does go. I don't have it motorized, and it doesn't all connect because. Yeah, I didn't have enough to, to, to connect it like it goes all the way around. Um, but, uh, and then we have Astro Orbiters up at the top there as well. And that took a lot of connect, a lot of different <laughs> pieces from different like uh, Technic sets or the different Lego sets that I used to, to make that. Um, and then we have, uh, there's another Easter egg there of Grievous and Obi-Wan fighting for the Star Wars guys out there. Awesome, and we'll show some more of that later. So okay. I, wanna, I wanna make sure John can get good shots of everything. So okay. for now, we, we, sh we, we should move to this giant okay. section here, because this is very impressive. So what all do we have happening here? All right, well, we'll start here with yeah. the train station. And as we come down, we have the, the entrance here. And I was very distinct on making this look like the, the, the ticket area um, coming from, from the different hotels. And then, so the greenery's there, and there's actually a new set that's got the 100 year on it, which they have sitting out there. Um, so I might might be purchasing that one. It's like the new gift with purchase year. or something. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So okay. I'd like to get that. Yeah, that means I have to get that castle. I guess oh, I don't boy. know. No, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get the castle. Like I said, that I could, but um, uh, but this is the train station. Obviously, the, the train works too. I'll get that going for you guys in a little bit too. Uh, but this is my custom. Now, some of this stuff is uh, some of our custom stuff out here. A lot of it is. This the monorail is my custom build. I actually, I did sit down and draw and think about pieces and got on BrickLink and ordered all that stuff. Um, uh, and that turned out really good. It doesn't go. It doesn't roll. I can move it and put it in, in the hotels, next to the hotels. Because, but it is, it is... Uh, it's big, it's, it's a little heavy, um, and uh, so you have to balance it on there a little bit, but it turned out, I think it turned out really well. Um, minifigures don't go inside or anything like that. Uh, it's just a facade, but I think it turned out, I, I had to have it, obviously. It's uh, one of the mainstays down there, iconic um, item down there. And then as we go from there, uh, if we go, um, I guess we'll go over here to the uh, Contemporary Hotel and the contemporary, I just made, I always wanted to make it, but I wasn't, I didn't want to make both sides of it. It's an A-frame building. I wanted to do the inside. So I just built the half of it. And so um, that was, again, I don't build until I can figure out that I have the parts to make every little section. Um, so uh, this is the uh, contemporary 
that was one of the first hotels that they made along with the Grand Floridian and the Polynesian. Those were the three mainstays that are still there. Now currently there is Bay Lake Tower is sitting right here, which is the DVC hotel, which I haven't done yet. It's a round tower. Um, so that might be on the way. I don't know. There's always more with Disney. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, as we go through uh, the Seven Seas Lagoon here, that was painstaking because all these um, uh, one by two translucent pieces, A, it's hard to find them, and B, it, is already, it was already here before I started. So I, a couple of them I was able to take the plates off and take them upstairs and put them on, but a lot of them I had to stand here and, oh, no. and push down the whole the whole thing but finally we got that done and then the island out there as you can see that is a set as well that is um yoda's hut with a training luke out there so again more easter eggs and as you're there there's luke there i mean there's a uh, yoda watching luke those are some cu custom figs um that my son had gotten me um and so there's the surf team and so he's surfing out there <laughs> Uh, Luke is and Yoda's training them from there catching some fish As and then you the, build... blue milk, the blue milk uh, uh, Vending machine is out there as well. So nice as you build <laughs> do you try to keep track of piece counter all like you mentioned all of these blue Tiles that you put down there. Do you have any idea how many of those there are or the general piece count at all? Not no, not really. <laughs> I get that question a lot, but I don't um, It's a lot. Usually that's my, my answer. Right. Is, it's a lot <laughs> uh, but um, no, I, I, don't, I don't keep track of that. But, um, and then as we look into the contemporary, we have uh, Mary Blair's um, mosaic. And then uh, she was an Imagineer from way back when, when they started. And that is the one side. So I put a little Lego sign in there and a little uh, hidden Mickey in there. And then on this side, this is kind of a, a weird thing, but there is a five-legged goat in that mosaic on that side. <laughs> so that's the five-legged goat there. And then here's the shop. Obviously, Disney's known for their um, merch, merchandise. <laughs> yes. And then around the side, you see the um, security there checkpoint to go up to the monorail. That was, and that's the um, metal detector you got to go through. And so we got that uh, for. I talked to uh, a fella down there that works in there. Shout out to those guys protecting everybody down there. And so we, we, I put that in there. He, he was uh, nice enough to. To, to show his buddies down there and that. So I was pretty excited about that. As, as you've been working on this city over the last few years, have you had employees from Disney reaching out or people that work there I've, saying, oh, here's another detail you could add or this looks fantastic, that kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, yeah. They'll say as a member of this or that or they've worked in the Haunted Mansion or they, um, you know, they've, they've uh, worked in the hotel. They'll say, yeah, it's great, you know. Give us a shout out and all that kind of stuff. And it's great. I, I love it on any of the social media that I'm on. I, I like to do that because it's just, it's just fun. Um, I think it's, it's interactive. And like I said, it is, like I said, it's just a nice stress reliever. And, you know, as a, as a kid, you always thought about the miniature stuff and building all kinds of stuff. And, you know, didn't, you know, when you get older, you got a little more cash to do that, which will help. And then, um, so, you know, the fun is in that. And it's really just, it's a... Um, our family's tradition of, of going down there. We just have lots of memories there. And uh, no matter how it changes or what they do to the park, I mean, it's, it's the nostalgia that you create with your family and that, that is the, uh, that's, that's the gift, you know? And so if we look at the, at the other side of the contemporary, we have uh, Chef Mickey's. And so people know that as well. The little Chef Mickey sign there. And then the, uh, this is a Contempo Cafe. And then we've got a lot of different hidden uh, folks, we got the guys from the Muppets eating there. Uh, just anything that we have, yeah, uh, just having we fun throw with in it. there. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and as and we kind of go around to this mm -hmm. section, then yeah, didn't want to didn't want to skip that there. And then uh, as we come around over here, oh, I got to shout out these guys, Heather's Bricks and uh, Mr. Bookie Boo. They had sent their minifigs into me because I'm doing a program where if you send your minifig in, I'll put it the, in the park. It has to stay here. Uh, but I will send you pictures, either recreate a family. I get two, two pictures I'll send you either on a ride or a recreate a picture from your family vacation. But uh, those two had sent me some uh, them in, so I made a little uh, exhibit over here with them. They sent me some stickers and that. That's super fun. So people get cool photos of their minifigs, then you yeah, also get yeah. to kind of populate it and, with fun minifigs. Yeah, and, it's, and I've, uh, 
people from overseas uh, had sent me a couple. And so it is just, uh, it's, it's good camaraderie with people. Yeah. Those are the, um, the Polynesian uh, bungalows. Those are the DVC bungalows. And I think I can reach this one. And they, uh, that one's pretty decked out oh, inside nice. there yeah. as well. Have you tried to do interiors on a lot of the buildings or? Some of them, some, some not, but uh, a few of them here and there, just because it, it's hard to get to them. Um, and I, I get that question a lot, um, but a lot of them we do there. We, we've got the contemporary, um, not too many more than that. I've got, uh, when you get the Peter Pan, uh, we've got the, the, the front of the ride there, but I don't have that entire ride, obviously, because room that would be expanded <laughs> like crazy down there. But this is the Polynesian here then. And then I also have, like I said, a lot of Easter egg, like some of the cars were neat. So I bought the Lamborghini. We've got Indiana Jones's dad there. Oh, old Batman, classic Batman. Um, some other things that I made custom was the Disney buses. So uh, the people who ride or go down to Disney, they know the Disney bus. So I get these acrylic stickers and we deck it out like uh, the Disney buses that you travel on a as you stay. There's one over there and there's another one on the other side there. Oh, we got the family truckster as well. <laughs> I love the things like the custom decals because that's really so much of the Disney experience is that immersiveness. Of right. It. And so it's not just like the rides, but it's the whole experience of go transportation and everything, the hotels and everything. Yeah, because you can park your car. You don't have to see your car the whole, you know, you use their <laughs> transportation. And sometimes it, it's it's cloudy and bulky. You know, there's a lot of people there. But that's part, I think that's part of the, you know, the, the vacation, the atmosphere that when you take, you know, when you go with your kids or your parents or your, whoever, loved ones, it just, it, it really makes the experience, that's why people go back. You know what I mean? It's not a specific ride or a specific, it's just the, the overall feeling yeah. there too. And that is another set there. That's um, the Obi-Wan uh, Darth Vader scene from the, the newest uh, movie. Um, and that turned into a s'mores and hot dog stand there. <laughs> oh, there's a pizza, brick pizza oven there too. And then over here, some of the pools. Now this, uh, I don't have all this lit up yet. But we've got ping pong going on back there. We've got the pool, and I think that's Joey Tribbiani from Friends in the pool there, swimming. And then we've got uh, Leia and Han laying out there. Um, we've got uh, them. So that's the Polynesian coming around. We have the, the wedding pavilion. We've got two people getting married in there. Had to add that just to be complete. Um, I think that turned out really well. I really like the palm trees. Uh, and I, 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 it's just a cool look. Um, and like I said, we've, I've, everybody says, well, why do you have so many like Stormtroopers and Marvel people? Because I don't have a lot of other minifigures. So it, I use what I have. So it's, it's all on hard brand. to find. You know it works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so they're there. They're having a good time, you know. Um, I think the crossovers are what makes it fun sometimes yeah, and that's too. It's those cool. unexpected yeah. things like we saw with like Jack Sparrow earlier. Yeah, some of those all fun, the unexpected things. Easter eggs. Yeah. And then as we come uh, along here, we have the uh, Grand Floridian, and that is, uh, there's the pool there, and they have a waterfall, and uh, the slide that comes around there, and uh, I haven't stayed there, but we, we haven't stayed there, but we have eaten there, and, um, and talking of Easter eggs, Scooby and Shaggy are out in the front of the Grand Floridian, if you come around this way, right in the front there, they're out in the front there. And it's funny sometimes, you know, people will comment, hey, I saw, yeah, yeah, you saw him, he's out there, you know, or what's he, what's Bart Simpson doing there? He's over there in Tomorrowland. I said, well, he's a minifigure that we had, so he's, he's there. Now, you, know? you mentioned you've eaten here at, at this hotel. So yeah. as you've built all this stuff up, what are you using in terms of like photos? Do you, you have a lot of photos from your own trips there? Do you pull stuff up? I, from I, online I, images or? online. Um, we remember, oh, we've been there enough that we remember a lot of it. Okay. We have stayed at the Polynesian. I mean, there's more buildings than that, obviously, if I, if I was to make ev you know, sure, everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of it and some of it's memory. Some of the little intricacies that are sitting around like down Main Street and that are our um, memories and and that but we'll get you know I'll get online and say oh did that look like that you know and we do the best that that we can with that so it is uh 
it, it, uh, we, and we try to get all the different IPs, you know, the, the, the princesses, they've come out with a lot of uh, new sets. And I will mix the, the friends group with the, uh, the regular Lego men because like here is Moana and that's what they're theming um, the, the Polynesian after. Yeah. The Incredibles, they're, they're, they theme the contemporary after. So we have those guys over there. Um, it's just turned out, uh, and this turned out really good. And what I'd like to do is, and I don't have it now, but I'd like to light up all the, the lamps all the way oh, around. Yeah. And I've got a couple of these buildings, they'll be lit when we light it up, but I'd like to light it all up and just have the whole side over here lit up, um, especially the, the contemporary and that. So it is, uh, like I said, uh, like the East, uh, like I said, the Easter eggs are the funnest part too, that we can kind of, uh, sneak things in to, and then we've got more down here that we need to get in. I might fly <laughs> some in the air. I don't know. Uh, but other than that, and then this is our, and at Christmas time, we are, you know, the home alone, I had to get that. That's iconic. For sure. So I made the whole yard and we, we got lit up and we got the backyard. And so that's a decoration for Christmas for upstairs. So it just sits down here for now and um, uh, in storage till yeah. Christmas. And we do, and we did set up for Christmas too. Uh, <laughs> so if you, uh, I have a whole, if I look down over here, I have my, the Christmas floats and that in there. Um, and a lot of the different Christmas material, like the, the, the wreaths that go down Main Street. There we go. So, and that can all, you can check that stuff out if people want to check that out on, on, um, on YouTube. I, I've got I videos. I love all your, your general Disney stuff here too that yeah. you have. So it's not just uh, Lego. Here's, this is a, this is an old piece that I got my son a long time ago, but yeah, this is, uh, some of the collection, th this is at Pop Century. So we had to get that. We stopped, we stayed at Pop Century the first year that we went. And so these are some of the things that we've accumulated over the years and the helmets were star, you know, I'm, uh, I'm an old man, so I, I, I'm the original <laughs> Star Wars in that. So we've got all the different troopers all the way up. That's super fun. And but we can, so, we can keep moving down the side right, here for so sure. So if you want to go that side, and I'll, I can speak on this side over here then. If we look here, this is the City Hall, which um, is a Lego set as well. And I just changed the date to 1971 because that's when, they, uh, when the park was completed. And then we moved down to the fire station. And then this is the uh, barber shop there. And this is an old, old, this fire station was hard to find as well because uh, they don't know, it's a retired set. And that's my custom Emporium uh, that we talked about earlier. And then you can recognize some of those that uh, Lego, the Lego fans will recognize some of those buildings. One was a pet shop, I believe, and we just converted them. And then I think I made the magic shop uh, custom. And then the end there, and we'll get a better view when you get into a different area, but that is uh, Casey's Corner where everybody buys the hot dogs. So <laughs> you'll see, and that is the costume shop, which is built from the bricks from a castle. Okay, So that's nice. the, uh, that's a, it's on BrickLink. Um, you can get the plans on there. And that is the, the costume shop. And the, yeah, that is the theater then. Um, and they're watching Steamboat Willie in there. And so... And that cinema sign line lights up as well when we get the lights on. And then um, as we go down a little further, uh, and uh, uh, I forget about um, Space Mountain right next to you there. Space Mountain, um, that was a custom. I just I tried to figure out how I could make that. That's an old one that I've had. I've thought about updating and making another one, uh, but I haven't to this point. And then it used to be when I was younger, and, and really in the early 2000s, there was an arcade next to um, Space Mountain. Now it, I believe it is something, I think it's a Tron gift store. I'm not sure. I haven't been down there since they put Tron up. I think, but I I think, think when I was there earlier this year, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah they moved. Well, it used to be an arcade, so I got all those arcade pieces. I thought those were cool pieces. So we've made the arcade there. Didn't make the top, obviously. But those gears out front, right. if you remember the old <laughs> facade, that, those gears were on there. Now it looks different. I'm probably going to keep it uh, like that as well. And then if you, uh, if you look inside the people mover there, there's the last scene from uh, the Carousel of Progress right there. That's the last scene, because I couldn't make the whole carousel. That's the last scene from there where he's burning the turkey. 
And then right next to it, I have the Star Wars crew. It's got a little band in there. So I had to make a, a band inside there. That's not really down there, but it, like I said, Easter egg. Um, it's the whole basket of Easter eggs, I guess I should say. <laughs> and then the Tron is a custom build as well. I use train tracks to make the curve. And then those are little um, plate pieces that are hooked together to make the ceiling of that. And I still got to get that lit up, but I did use the Tron uh, cut, the, the Lego set, um, the two of them to make the ride vehicle there. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, so and then as, um, then I've got the up house cause I had, to, I just thought that was a cool set. So I was like, oh, I gotta get that. And then that is the Speedway, the Tom Tomorrowland Speedway uh, is the ride there in Tomorrowland. Um, across the street from that is the, uh, where you see R2 on the top of that building, right across from the speedway there. That, it, I couldn't complete that, but that is um, the Cosmic Rays. Uh, that's one of the favorite places that we like to eat, but that's kind of a little homage to that. It's not, doesn't look like that at all, but it, it, close enough, because um, <laughs> it was hard to, to make a bunch of buildings there and get all the sidewalks in that. And then as you go a little further there, the teacups ride, um, the Mad Hatter teacups, and that's a custom top. I, I, I couldn't find anything that looked like it, so I had to make that as well. The teacups is a third party teacup thing that's not a Lego product, but I couldn't, I, it goes too. So when I put the power on, uh, you'll see, uh, we'll be making that go. And then we also have, um, right in front of you is the, uh, that is Dumbo's, uh, the Dumbo ride. Now there are two. It used to be behind Magic Kingdom and they moved it when they made Fantasyland. And uh, those, actually a story about those, uh, the the elephant heads are leg, old, old Lego uh, pieces. And I was trying to find those on um, eBay. And I, found, I finally found them. And um, one of those um, is, uh, there's a little boy in one of those. At, uh, without going into the story uh, anymore, but there, uh, he'll never leave that uh, Dumbo ride because that was a promise I made to uh, one of the distributors that I got one of those uh, heads from. Um, nice. And so that was kind of a sentimental thing. Um, and so that that's the new, like I said, my kid's a little older now, so we don't really float too much on the Dumbo ride, <laughs> but we, we, ha we, we used to when it was behind the Magic Kingdom there. And then there is um, the Mine Train ride with the dwarfs. And now uh, that's a Friends uh, Snow, Snow White, now with the new minifig, which um, you gotta get with the castle. Um, <laughs> the, they, they always, they always and, gotta get you pulled in for more. <laughs> and that set there is uh, the Lone Ranger set. I couldn't, so that, the mountain of that, yeah. that's the Lone Ranger set from a long time ago. And I kind of just adapt it to make it look like, as much as I could make it look like the, um, the uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And then if you go a little further, um, Pooh, uh, the, one of the Pooh ride there, that is a set, obviously. And uh, then uh, if you go up from there, the Carousel, which that is a, that's a set as well. And then my custom Peter Pan uh, ride there, uh, Peter Pan's flight, that is, um, they, they didn't have anything like that. So I had to make that custom as well. And then the entrance into Fantasyland. And then uh, just a quick little homage to, um, to um, uh, the Little Mermaid. Uh, there she is on front of the boat there. Uh, not a lot of room back there. I'd like to get that new set. Um, I do like that set, the new set that they made for The Little Mermaid because of that two-tiered approach. It's kind of like the ride, and I got some ideas of how I can make the ride out of that. And then uh, Beauty and the Beast Castle, and where you go eat, and they got a little lunch there and that. And then Pinocchio's Place, right next to, to uh, Small World. I know it's, it's really tight to get back <laughs> there, uh, but I got a couple ride vehicles. The Peter Pan, I was really happy with that. Used some different elements from some different things. Um, and uh, and then the Rapunzel, that is a friend set that I put back there. That's actually a bathroom area. Yes, the Rapunzel set, that is the bathroom area. Um, I wish they'd make a ride uh, for that 
IP, that would be a neat ride. And then that kind of bumps around, you go around to uh, the Haunted Mansion then. And then I also, the, the, the castle is 360. So I, and that's another reason why the new castle, I'd have to build the back of it as well. Um, so that's some more, uh, a little more expensive. <laughs> you gotta decide. But, and then we've got Tinkerbell coming down the line from the castle. Um, had to put that little element in there as well. And then, um, and then we'll see the fireworks as well as we uh, uh, get the lights yeah. on and that. So, and it took a long time for to get all those pieces for the speedway, and we'll get a better view um, from the other side. I could probably get a view if uh, we get over on that side. But one one thing that's cool throughout here is the variety of trees uh, that you see because yeah. there's like <laughs> there's different types kind of depending on where you are in the park yeah. here. So some I made like you notice some yeah. of the ones I made at a block. Yes, I just made up near the castle there. Uh, and then those bigger ones near the turrets and that. And, um, and some, there's some sticker elements on the tur turrets. I make my own stickers um, because they just don't, they don't make those uh, pieces um, in sets. So um, that turned out real well. And yeah, the tree, I, I generally get a lot of comments like, oh, the trees. Yeah, there's a lot of trees, L lots of trees. <laughs> and and I, because I want, like I said, I'm going for what my, eyes, my, my mind's eye has seen and just the overall feel. Like if it doesn't have that feel to me, I'll just kind of change it up. You know what I mean? And like I said, this is a lot of Easter egg here, the uh, the Star Wars area, because eh, I'm an old old hat too. Sure. So we had some Star Wars sets, and I said, like, I gotta put them someplace. Gotta be Tomorrowland. So this could be reimagined uh, sometime as well. Uh, I mean, all of it can. Uh, there is the little, uh, little scene in behind the building there of, uh, Batman, and we did, we also made a, um, which is not there at all, but the uh, Mos Eisley's Cantina uh, scene there as well, and I've taken some people from that to put in different rides and that, but. Now, um, as you've worked on the city here, and this has expanded, what is what is holding all this up here, and kind of the, well, the structure underneath okay, here? So the center here, this is an old uh, table frame, uh, or bed frame, sorry, be bed frame. <laughs> the castle is mostly on a kitchen table, um, there are some, some cabinet or not cabinets, but some, um, shelving from the garage that is underneath here. And there's a lot of those white party tables that, uh, especially the newer areas that are the white tables. Um, and so I, like I said, it just built in pieces. Um, I, my, in best case scenario and this is what I'd like to do is actually move this over to the other side of the basement and make just a whole new table out of plywood and put it all down. But I know what will happen if I do that. I will start reimagining everything because you'll see that, you know, that- Right, right. You're like, that, well, I've got it apart, like so change. I might as well. Yeah, because there's pieces I like to change yeah. that it isn't as good as I want it to be. Um, and so that could be a never ending situation. <laughs> Plus the elevations are quite, uh, sometimes different and I built them up on different things. Um, so that could be um, a little bit of an issue, but I, this is like, if I was to finish this area, this would be a bedroom down here. So we might have to do that at some point. Um, but um, uh, other than that, um, that is, and, and me shimmying around and crawling underneath uh, these areas is pretty much a, a daily thing. Kind of keeps me in shape and that as well. <laughs> there we go, that's your uh, exercise. <laughs> so, um, but it's, like I said, turned out really well. I don't know, we, we get a lot of comments and I just like, you know, like the, the people that have been there, I like everybody. Uh, to when they comment, but especially the ones that know what I'm trying to get at there, they're like, oh, that's where I was. And that's why I did the program with the uh, the pictures. Like if they've got a picture I want that to recreate, I can recreate a picture. Um, you know, I got to limit it to two because if I get overwhelmed, I want to get them back to them. Yeah. Uh, get the pictures to them. And then the people then populate um, the, uh, the park yeah. then as well. So, and, and I get this a lot too. If you look on May, right in the, around the circle, there's the Ender Dragon from Minecraft. I get a lot, why the Ender Dragon? Well, it looks like Maleficent's dragon. <laughs> and I, and like I tell them, hey, Legos look costly. I use what I have. So it looks like the, the, the Ender Dragon. So I said, you know what? I'm making that into the float. So I get a lots of, hey, that's not, I'm like, it's the, <laughs> it it's, works. It's, 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 the, it's a dragon to us. 
So, so. You, you mentioned the community aspect of the people that send in minifigs. Talk a little bit more about kind of the content that you put online. Where are you most active with that if people want to um, kind of see your updates? Well, uh, TikTok. I'm on TikTok, Craggle Creations. I'm on um, Instagram. And, uh, and then I have my YouTube channel. And other than that, that's pretty much where I live. I go between those three and um, I, I like the comment to everyone. Um, nice. It's usually, it's like 98% all positive, which I want to keep it just positive uh, material. Um, and uh, it's kid friendly all the time. It's always kid friendly. And um, I just like, you know, I like when people see it and they know what I'm talking about and they know what they, you know, they've been there. It gets them excited. And I think that I mean, that's a, a lot of it. So, and if you looked over at the, uh, at Splash Mountain, that's the construction wall that I have. Uh, and I put that up a while back and I'm kind of waiting because Disney's known for putting out pictures and then we get it and it's uh, something totally different looking. <laughs> so I'm going to do it this time uh, right along with them. So they just got the tower up and I had that tower waiting and uh, that went up the day after they got their tower up once I got notified or once I saw it on on, on Instagram, I love that. My, da my daughter sent it to me and I was like, oh, that's tomorrow's post. And I, so I can't, I spent, I was up to like one o'clock in the morning uh, making a sticker and, and getting that for, uh, formulated and getting up there. And we had it going the next day. So we're excited. You know, we're, I, I like those little things, the little changes and that. And then I will keep some stuff too. Like I said, I'm going to make that so I can go back to Splash. A lot of people like Splash. Um, I, uh, that, the real big hit on Instagram. They like seeing that. And I do have one of the photos I use. Um, I use an app, but it makes the water go. And so everybody, and I, it's where you erase the picture and it puts the movement in. And I, a lot of people think that I've motorized that to have those pieces individually go down. Like, no, it's an app. Uh, but the, the main, the, the goal at first was to get that last drop motorized. But the, the ride vehicles, which I got on Rebrickable, Somebody, uh, somebody made those. I think he reached out to me one time and said, hey, I made those. And I was like, oh, man, they're awesome. I've got three of those. And they're very, they're kind of heavy and they're big. And to get the clearance to go around, because that was the main, we're get, we got a little motor and we we're messing around with Technic bricks and stuff like that to see if we could get it going around. And we, I was like, man, I got to get this out there. So that could be in the future that we, uh, depending on what they, whatever they do. I know they're not changing that, but uh, we might try to get that. Uh, going as well so yeah one of the things that is incredible to me is the the amount of like blogs and content creators out there that post every tittle tiny little like minute update at the parks and disney mm -hmm. that's something i didn't realize existed until in recent years kind of going to some of the parks yeah and just like any tiny change and there's like blogs oh yeah, it yeah, and everything. yeah they put that tower up and it was <laughs> out of control and i was like well i gotta get it going because i got it i was ready i was ready to get it out there so it was it's kind of neat it's a community like I said, that um, and, and like I said, for the most part, it's just really good people just really wanting to create memories with their families. And um, it's really a, a neat place to to do that. Yeah. So now if this all isn't enough, you actually have some more that we can take a look at here as well. So yeah. we'll stop real quick and then go over to some other tables and check out okay. some newer stuff. All righty. This is uh, one of the most recent builds I started was our family really liked at Hollywood Studios. We liked the great movie ride. And Right now, it's been changed into uh, Minnie and Mickey's Runaway uh, Railway. And so I wanted to build, it has been a, a thing, uh, me and my son talked about it a lot, I wanted to build the actual ride, the great movie ride. And so um, this has been over the past, I don't know, three or four months, I guess, I've been working on, on this build. And uh, this is the Chinese theater. This is the facade that you go into the ride. Um, even down to the posters of the great movie ride, uh, we made those and the, the, the signs. And everybody, if you've been there, they'll know um, what they used to look like. If you haven't seen the ride, go on YouTube and check out. You can check out mine, but check out the actual old footage, the POVs from them. And um, we got some families there. And it used to be in Hollywood Studios, they had Star Wars days. You guys might be a little too young to remember those. But... Um, and it would be everything Star Wars throughout wow, the whole park. And really so they'd cool. have uh, parades and that with the start of the characters. And then they would have a march of Phasma would take the First Order right down Hollywood Boulevard. And so we got a little, little shout out to them there 
We've got uh, the Manda over there and he's got uh, Donald Duck and Carbonite. And uh, I even put uh, Harrison Ford or Indiana Jones out here. Got some of the new minifigures. Um, and then inside, it's just like the Chinese theater, we have um, Stallone and his footprint. So we got the footprints of them too. So I made stickers. <laughs> and so we got R2 and C-3PO. We got the Avengers back there. Goofy, Harrison Ford, Hulk Hogan, Minnie and Mickey. And so I've still got to finish that inside there. This is not complete. There's some canopies that I need to put back there, some decoration up there. Um, the best thing were those lions to, to find those. Those were kind of neat because that's right out in front there. And then that main sticker in the front as well. But this is all custom. This is just off of pictures and us remembering what it looked like. Um, I want to light it up as well. So, and so we are going to eventually, like I said, make the whole ride. So what we've done is I've made scenes from inside the ride. And so if we look at this one here, uh, this one here, and we have the entrance to it. It's one of the first, it's the first or second one, and it's singing in the rain, and you come in with the clouds there, and the gray on there, the, 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 the plate pieces, that's, gonna, that's the ride area. And so I still have to make the ride vehicles, but that is the Singing in the Rain song or a movie. And that, that lights up. I don't have that lit up today, but uh, it lights up and I'm gonna, and I have rain, uh, little lights that come down as rain. And then it goes into the Mary Poppins section here. And there is the chimney sweep, uh, Dick Van Dyke and <laughs> um, Mary Poppins there. And then as you go through that, you go into some other scenes. I don't have all the scenes yet. I've kind of picked and choose. Uh, this is the um, uh, Casablanca scene, and that's got the, uh, the, the airplane and the luggage there. They're on the airport and the, the clouds in the background. And um, the end scene is the last scene of the whole ride is Wizard of Oz. And then there's a little little area that has the characters. So this is a small, this is just a small little piece of it. And I still have to get an image of the Emerald City back there. Um, but that is that last scene in, in the ride. Um, right after the big scene of, of, um, of Wizard of Oz, where they have the, uh, the Wicked Witch. So let me move this. And I've also have even more scenes here. Yeah, that one. This one here is Indiana Jones. So I did buy some sets, obviously, and you and the ride would come in from this side over here. It comes from um, Alien, and it comes in, and then obviously I bought two Indiana Jones scenes because I needed those statues, and then I custom made that uh, area in there, but. Um, there's even an Easter egg in the, that's from the set. It's R2 and C, uh, C-3PO there. <laughs> it's really up on this wall on the other side in the ride, but they, because of the, the set they made. Um, so I get a lot of um, comments about that, but it really sits up on this side, which I'm probably going to get one in there myself for the diehards out there as too. Um, and then I also have um, Tarzan. And now this Tarzan, it's not the cartoon. It is the old school Tarzan. And you come in from this side and you see Jane on the elephant. And then he goes back and forth on this old archaic vine kind thing. of vine. Yeah, it's very, <laughs> it was very old. And then, um, and then there's a little uh, bridge there. And that, that kind of worked out really well. So this one actually, this leads right into here. So this is what this will look like when, when it's complete. When I, when we get them all done, we're going to put it all together because we still have the theater area at the front, the load area with the big marquee. Um, there's an area where there is all the, I don't know what movie it was, but all the ladies in a pyramid. And so we've got, uh, these are the ladies set for that. We've got alien ready for that. We've got the gangster scene. That's Sigourney Weaver there. Um, there's some um, uh, horror movie area for those guys. And then we have the Wicked Witch there for the um, Wizard of Oz scene when we get to that as well. So 
Lots still to work on this. It's just like I said, a work in pro uh, uh, progress. I my goal maybe I was going to take the Chinese theater to um, a convention or two. I don't know. It just depends. I got to get wood on. I did not mills plate that. The only thing that I've mills plate are these scenes here. Uh, other than that, everything over there on the park and resorts are not mills plated, and neither is. Uh, I'd have to get a piece of wood to get underneath the um, Chinese theater. Yeah. It's just the mills plating. I can imagine. I mean, I'd love to get that on Mills Plate, but man, that's a lot of Mills Plate. Right. You know what I mean? Very parts intensive. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so other than that, um, that's the, the plan then is to get this completed and everybody's organizational. That's always, that's always my, more parts trays and everything. Yeah, that's, I don't have it all by piece. I don't have it pieced out. I've got it in big buckets and I, Sometimes lay it all out on the ground there. I've got lights and things of that nature, uh, electricity and that kind of stuff for for the lighting and that. But that's kind of the uh, that's kind yeah. of the show there. There we go. Well, and you mentioned lights, so that's something we really wanted yes. to show off as yes. well. So we can show off some of the lights and some of the motorized features now as well. Okay. Well, if we start at Main Street right there, uh, you can see how the, the lights are shining up at the uh, um, at the train station. If we look out front there. The ticket area. So I wanted to light underneath there. Ooh, careful there. Um, I wanted to have that lighting underneath there. I, a good ambiance of light. I try to balance the light too as much as I can. Uh, but as you go into Main Street there, then um, I've got uh, the the street lined all the way down, and the buildings have uh, lights in them. And some are a product uh, of like specific Lego products for lighting and then some are just um, LEDs that I've picked up at like Home Depot and that, um, especially inside the buildings. They're not specific things. I just kind of get them in there and um, it really lit up pretty well. Yeah, you uh, don't need the super customized stuff if you just want the general kind of right, glow. Right, the glow, the exactly. Right. And then, but over as you look, and we'll stay on this side, I guess then. Um, if you look down Main Street there too, if you go to the, if you could reach the, the, um, the statue, the partner statue, I don't know if you can from that angle. It's better from the other side. But you can see the, um, the cinema there. Uh, that is a, a specific lighting kit um, to light up that, that cinema sign. And then the light set came with the, uh, that were custom for the Smith, uh, Swiss Family Robinson uh, treehouse as well there and then as you look down we'll just start right here at pirates of the caribbean as well now those are that's the flicker lights those are pretty cool products uh blinky bricks i think is a one i got some of those from them um and uh game of bricks i'm i'm looking at some of the uh products that they have but i have davy jones over there on the boat oh and for the disney uh fanatics that is the the black pearl and that is not the actual boat that's in the ride. It's a Queen Anne. It's just that I had the Black Pearl. <laughs> um, I'd like to switch it out as a Queen Anne, but again, there's costs there yeah. uh, that I didn't want to encourage just yet. And you can see where the cannons shooting from here over I and love into that, the yeah. water there. And then I used to have this area lit up there. I, I stole that light for something else. Um, but I tried to get the water lit. And then as you come around here again, that last scene of Jack Sparrow. I've got a flicker light in there as well. Um, and that is, that's a classic scene uh, from, from the ride. And then the queue area as well in the front. So I think it, it does a, you know, because the, the city's supposed to be on, uh, the town's supposed to be on fire. And so all the flames and that kind of stuff. I think that turned out really well. And then as we go um, further up on this side, I guess you can see Tiana's Bayou Adventure now. I've got one of the spotlights, I just put it right on the water tower. Um, and that flashing light is when they come down that flume uh, that takes a picture for the photo pass. Um, that's a little camera that's lighting up there. And then right over the top, you can see uh, Aladdin's magic carpet ride. And uh, the better view is when you get on the other side because we have that Adventureland sign. That's one of our favorite uh, is because we've got that lit up too. And um, it really turned out really well especially uh, with the lights. And we can see Tom Sawyer's uh, island back there behind the parade. And then we've got some lights on um, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad back there. 
So the, the key to the Thunder Mountain Railroad, I didn't say it earlier, but was to get that iconic look of that peak there. That was just, I was just going for that. I was like, it took me a while to get that place to where, where it looked like the images that I, that I did scour the internet for that. Not that I didn't know what it looked like, but I wanted it to really look like it because it is the, the roller coaster. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to make sure we knew exactly what that was. And if we look here at the Jungle Cruise, actually the Jungle Cruise inside that building, that is, that is a building that is decked out inside. There's a queue line and there are people inside there in line. Details, with, I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's lit up. The lid does pop off of that too, but that is really detailed inside. And there is even that little box in the front there on the on the porch. That is the little, the uh, the, the spider that moves when the kids go by. There's a little spider inside there as well. And then if we come around in the Jungle Cruise, well, there's the backside of water right there. If you look at the waterfall, and then it also gives an image, uh, the, the Tree of Life there, like I said, from Avatar. But like I said, it looked like the one from uh, the, the live action Jungle Cruise. I've got to get a, a rock figure in there, the rock. Yeah. You know, I got to get him in there. I haven't found a good one of him yet. Um, somebody's got to have a custom <laughs> minifig of the rock other than uh, the one from um, uh, uh, my own uh, Moana Moana. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna stick that one in there. That'd be kind of <laughs> cool But and then Lion King like I said and it it lights up pretty good inside there I think one of the coolest features is the way you did the fireworks here. So what are those? Lights? Yeah, those, those are uh, those are actually party party lights on it from Amazon So if you go on Amazon, you can find those um, they're like for parties, for your backyard patio, I guess. But I, I had to get the fire. I mean, that's the iconic. <laughs> you know, you're there and you, the fireworks are going off and Tinkerbell's coming down that little line there. Um, and then as we look from this vantage point, you can see the uh, astral orbiters over there. That's lit up. And then we've got a spotlight on um, Space Mountain. And then I've got the lighting all inside the blue line train. We call it the blue line train, but the people mover. Um, and that, that's lit up pretty good. And then the speedway, I don't know, maybe if you came around this way, you might be able to get to the speed. We've got that speedway sign lit up over there. I'm going to have to get a spotlight on that up house. I just realized that. And I've still got some lighting to do. I've still got to light up um, the Dumbo rides back there. This is still uh, very impressive though. I mean, the lighting is just as impressive as the build itself with the amount of effort it takes to light all of these builds up. Yeah, yeah, it is a, <laughs> it's, a it's an ordeal. And then the, um, the Haunted Mansion back there, that's a crowd favorite too, everybody loves that. And she, uh, the Constance, the bride, she's up in that top window. And then she has thrown a ring down and there's a little gold ring, it's silver, but I only had a gold one. But there's a ring down in the queue line on the ground there. <laughs> and so that one, that's the detail that I'm talking about. You know, they, the, the, the park goers, they know she's up in the window and the, 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 the legend is she threw the ring out of the window and it got embedded into the, the pavement down there. I believe it was just one of those poles that came off and it was inside the concrete and everybody oh. thought it was a ring. And so that's <laughs> how the legend kind of started. But um, that's, uh, I've, I've put some Instagrams out with that because I have, I take a video of that as well, because I can get back, oh, way back in the back too. Um, but if we, as we come around, yeah. we do have the Grand Floridian lit up a little bit. Um, I've got to get the other building, obviously, and I want to get those, the lighting around on the on the post. And we have the the Polynesian here. Those are just some battery operated ones. I do have the pools um, wired for light, but I haven't uh, got the power to it yet. I'm kind of waiting to see. What I do with those uh, uh, the light posts. So, and then as you get uh, good viewing here, my big sweep through, and I always get my son always gets on me for this, but I'm I'm the king of the flyover. Uh, I fly in from this side down and down Main Street. But I mean that is that's the uh, that's the deal, man. That's that's, that's, the, the, that's the money stuff. shot. Yeah, yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> um, and so when we go down there, I'm gonna have to. Have my camera ready. I'm gonna get some. I want to do some merge pictures uh, with some areas here, so I'm excited. We're excited to go down and get some pictures, and and then I've also got. If you wanted to shimmy again, there's a two. There's a lightsaber duel going on back there. I used to have Ahsoka and Darth Vader fighting, but I have 
uh, I think a small child in Darth Vader right in the middle of fantasy land over there. The lightsabers light up. Those are some cool lighting to the and so that area really is in need of light that uh, Peter Pan and and there's a one light in in small world but I've really got to deck that out back there but there's some lights in the uh, mine train there some of the the different uh, crystals in that that they're mining out of there um, and a couple light posts and then beauty's castle back there and you mentioned this adventure land sign earlier, oh and right? if you yeah, yeah if you you can see the Adventureland sign there. That's really lit up, and that's uh, that's one of my favorite builds. I'll be honest with you. My son did that, and that's one of my favorite. When you look, I mean, it just when I do the side by side pictures, that's just spot on. It's just kind of neat. And then going down into Adventureland, and seeing uh, Aladdin's ride and that, and see Aladdin's ride. That was one of the. Um, there was a, a set with um, an octopus, for a little you know a little circus set. I used the mechanics of that and then built my own. And by the time you get done with it, it's almost like I'm not using the set anymore, <laughs> but it kind of inspired me yeah. to get going on it. And because um, they asked me, how do you do it? And I'm like, well, I don't know, I just fiddle with stuff. And I, I, you know, I think about different areas and what are the pieces that I could use. And then we kind of kind of go from there. There's the inside of the theater there mm -hmm. as well. And I've done some um, different movies, uh, you know, videos and, and Instagram posts with that. Well, this is amazing. Yeah, I love when you turned off the lights, it was just yeah, incredible a lot of people are like, <laughs> And we've got a lot of friends have come over and they're like, oh, okay, this guy, a grown man, he's got, he's got uh, <laughs> these Legos down. They, they, I think they're expecting just like a kitchen table yeah. full of little sets sitting there. And then, and then they see it. And then when I turn on the lights, they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I see it now, and I do, and, and I wanted that. I wanted that look, that glow, because this is the feel, especially down Main Street. And if you guys, anybody that's watching, if you go on my my YouTube and check out my Christmas time, that I re really went all out this year at Christmas time, and we even had the the um, oh the uh, the the wreaths that were on the the support beams that were coming out in down Main Street. Okay. And so that's, I, I had those all down there and I had tree on this side and we had a float with Santa in it. And um, it turned out really well. I even did like a, a build up to it where the, where I took everybody out of the park and I had the workers putting up the lights and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it was, it was my relaxation time. <laughs> how, how does the, the power source work for all these lights? Is there batteries or is it all like plugged in? Um, how does that work? Everything's plugged in. There's one central box and then I've got everything hooked together. Some of the, oops, whoops. Oops. oh, you're fine. Don't um, I've got everything hooked together with um, the, the little connectors in that and um, everything goes off into one outlet. And so I do have to run around a little bit with some some automatic, you know, the uh, the remote controls and turn on uh, some of the the lights, um, crawl underneath and that. But um, other than that, it's pretty much all comes on at one time, pretty much. Yeah. But it, that's incredible. We'll, we'll make sure to put links to uh, your YouTube channel okay. and social media that you mentioned, so if people want to uh, check all that out, mm -hmm. then they can and kind of follow oh, your yeah. progress here. Because as you mentioned, there's more to come. And this oh yeah. Is, yeah. This is just amazing to see everything that you've done here. So <laughs> thank you so much for taking us through everything all and right. uh, pointing out all the fun Easter eggs and can't wait to see what you do in the future here. All right.
Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, don't show that, dude. <laughs> he just, that's all he had in him. I'm glad he did it. It right was a there. good run. Yeah, it was. <laughs>